Welcome ladies and gentlemen, we've got a brand new look at Alien Romulus and this is quite special. This is the excitement that I missed ah, from movies that ah, yeah, I can really just dive deeply into. This is brand new image, Alien Romulus, shared by Bloody Disgusting, showing the Romulus lab, but something specific in here needs to be dived into. The iconography, uh, it's from ancient Rome, there are meanings behind it, so let's take a look, shall we? ladies and gents so it's this this is the image that was shared by bloody disgusting over on twitter romulus lab authorized personnel only what's that in the middle this is Wayland yutani this is a Wayland yutani uh, corporation space station and what is that in the middle hmm well i do have another image let's have a look interesting two humans breastfeeding on a wolf yeah so what is that exactly what is that well that is the capitoline wolf or the capitoline wolf the uh it's a bronze sculpture which depicted a scene from the legend of the founding of rome so this is romulus and remus uh the sculpture this sculpture this is a rendition of it but it shows a she wolf suckling the mythical twin founders of rome romulus and remus now according to legend so there's a lot here ladies and gents when king numitor grandfather of these twins romulus and remus was overthrown by his brother amulius in alba longa the usurper ordered them to be cast into the tiber tiber river so they were rescued by a she-wolf that then cared for them until a herdsman, Faustulius, found and raised them. So this is Romulus and Remus being suckled by a she-wolf after they've been cast out. So the age and origin of this, uh, this statue anyway, that this is based on, is all the way from 5th century BC. Uh, this is... I'm I am very impressed. I am very very impressed. Very 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 impressed. Ah, the the, the I mean, mm, symbolism of this just for anyone that you know cares wants to know that a, a sort of symbolic element of this uh, is used in Romania and Moldova, for instance, as a symbol of the Latin origin of its inhabitants. Um, in uh, in some other things, there's a mirror image of this uh, on display in certain sort of I don't know sitcom esque. There's actually I think there's actually one in the Senate House uh, in another TV series as well. It was a Republican symbol, uh, again, in another film. There's a lot going on here in terms of its symbolism. Uh, I, I'm quite... I'm, I'm thrown by this, by how caring that they're being with this movie. I've got a lot of hopes about this. The level of detail here is... Yeah, huge. Genuinely huge. I think. What do you think of this image? What do you think of the sort of symbolism here? What do we think? Because, I mean, it is quite literally Romulus and Remus suckling on a she-wolf. Saving the lives. Is this Wayland yutani saving the lives of humanity, perhaps? Is it, I don't know, I mean, is it Wayland yutani putting themselves on a pedestal of Rome? Is, for instance, uh, is, for instance, the space station, the founding nature of um, sort of humanity now, according to Wayland yutani in that instance? Could be. It could be. There's a lot to unpack. Uh, I was, I've covered... You know, the the legend itself. <sighs> ah, 
I, I, I am a bit, yeah. I just think it's fantastic. I dig it. I dig it a lot. I'm fascinated by, I'm, I'm just, I'm really impressed. I'm really, really, really impressed. And it's beautiful cinematography. Great rule of thirds. The lighting's great. The set piece is great. Just the fact that they've got... Just the fact that they've got that as well. The wolf suckling Romulus and Remus. It's a really, it's a really well done image of it. I think that's great. The Capitoline Wolf. Uh, yeah. Very symbolic. Romulus and Remus nurtured by a wolf. Could this be humanity? Could this could this be another case of humanity suckling at the teat of a of a vicious entity, be it the xenomorph? I don't know whether we'll get any of that, but it is quite something to think about, is that this is one of the images that they're running with. The founding of Rome, if you're going to run off, if you're going to run off the symbolism of Prometheus and Alien Covenant and things like that, the fact that it's called Alien Romulus, the fact that they, they're on a space station, the Renaissance space station, you know, I mean, that alone... Renaissance itself. I mean, that is literally the rebirth. So it's the rebirth space station. If you're going to run off that specifically, it, yeah. I mean, there's this is highly symbolic. It's the rebirth space station where Romulus and Remus, Romulus module, and there's a Remus module, and they're quite literally showing this is the rebirth of humanity. Is what they're basically claiming it to be. If you're going to go off the actual symbolism. Renaissance means rebirth. Romulus and Remus, the founders of Rome, suckling on the teat of the Capitoline wolf. There's a lot to unpack here. This is the, yeah, this is quite something, ladies and gents. The rebirth of humanity, perhaps. The rebirth of maybe the Xenomorph. There you go. Wow. Very excited. Ah. Hopefully you got something from this. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye now.